who do exist there in orbital of course electrons electrons have wave function wave function has its no physical significance other than the amplitude other than its simple mere existence the physical significance is for psi square that indicates its probability of finding the electron so as we move radially along that radial coordinate how can we find probability of occurrence of electrons that's called radial distribution let us see radial distributions of various atomic orbitals their concept of node will be more clear to you we have studied radial shapes of orbitals from that we got the idea where electron can exist but exactly how many electrons are there means how much distribution of electron is there what is the density of the electron what is the intensity of finding electron what is the probability of finding electron that idea we are not getting for that little mathematical treatment we need to understand if we consider light wave then it has some basic properties it has some values like wavelength frequency and speed by which we can define that by which we can understand that but what about matter wave matter wave has no fixed frequency or wavelength or speed so simply it exists or not exist that is only importance for wave function psi but if in true sense if you have to understand density of the electrons distribution of the electron what we need to do we need to take its square square of the wave function will signify probability of finding the electron probability of occurrence of the electron and as per heisenberg uncertainty principle there is a no exact position so we say that the uncertainty is there therefore we use the word probability otherwise we would have said direct density but probability of density that we say so probability distribution curve now wave function has two parts first part radial and second part angular till we have to discuss about the radial part how do we represent that radial part capital r in bracket small r and that radial part gives information about which two quantum numbers yes first two quantum numbers n and l if i take square of that then how can i represent r square in bracket r i have to find out the probability of finding the electron in small volume say dv volume then how can i represent that r square in bracket r for a small volume that is what dv that is a probability of finding electron through a vehicle radial coordinate will be r square r into dv now let us consider that small volume in the spherical way so let us consider a spherical size of the atom what is the volume of the sphere v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube let us differentiate this equation with respect to r so dv is equal to 4 by 3 into 3 pi r raised to 3 minus 1 because what is our general formula of differentiation if i consider x is to n then differentiation will be n x raised to n minus 1 is a simple mathematics so ultimate answer 4 pi r square so if i come across previous term r square r into dv now i'll get the final answer 4 pi r square into r square r r is in bracket means it is a function is represented radial coordinate is a variable there so radial distribution density finding can be represented by the formula 4 pi r square this is small r square into our radial factor of the wave function square of that so capital r square it represents n comma l and what is the variable radial coordinate that is small r
Now see this diagram. 1s orbital, its radial distribution is represented. Origin means that's our nucleus. As we come out of the nucleus, we are getting abundant electron, large number of electron. Means probability of finding electron is high. So radial distribution function will be high. So it is a raise in the finding the probability of electron. Then after some distance, as R grows, slowly, slowly it decreases. But decrease is slow compared to increase. So steep increase was there. Now slowly it is decreasing. At last it meets to x axis. What is there on x axis? R upon A naught. I discussed that. What that R upon A naught is there? Timing understand. X axis means distance from the nucleus. That's a radial vector, a radial component, radial coordinate. So this is the representation of oneness orbital through radial distribution. So exact intensity, exact probability of finding electron at particular radius, that idea we can get. Now see this second diagram. It is the representation of 2s orbital. Read that diagram carefully. At nucleus, zero probability of finding electron. As I move away from the nucleus, little probability is there of finding electron. Probability became zero after some interval. Means what is that? Yes, there is a gap. What is the gap? It is a node that meeting the line at x-axis means there is the existence of node. Then after some interval, again there is a probability of finding electron and it reaches to the maximum and then after some interval or after some time, the vehicle will find, so which vehicle? Radial coordinate vehicle will find less probability of finding electron. So curve is decreasing. At last, orbital ends. The curve also meets to x-axis. That is 2s orbital. Where one meeting to the x-axis after departing from the nucleus you are getting, that is a node. So node also is explained by this radial distribution curve. But now compare previous 1s orbital and 2s orbital. What are you finding? The 2s orbital is completing at long distance. So who is larger in size? 2s orbital is larger in size. Compared to whom? 1s orbital. Here numbers also are given. See, 5 is an integral number we are getting. Because we are dividing that R divided by A0. A0 is a Bohr's radius for hydrogen atom. Where we are finding the maximum peak now. That is our the A0 value. So relative to that, that number is 5. So if you read that first diagram, where maximum probability of finding electron is there, that is our Bohr's radius, that is our A0 value. And the x-axis, you are finding numbers 5 and 10. That 5 means that radius is 5 times larger than A0. What is A0? A0 is the radius of hydrogen atom. A0 is the radius where there is a maximum probability of finding electron in oneness orbital of hydrogen which is represented in the first diagram. And the same value of A0 we are considering for other orbitals because we are talking about hydrogen and hydrogen like species for the sake of simplicity. Radial distribution we are discussing. Similar concept is there for others. So 2s orbital is going to complete after Phi A0 means 2s orbital is larger compared to 1s orbital and that is usual. We were also expecting it should be the larger. Now interesting fact is there in the next diagram. It is a 2p orbital. 2p is a first orbital. No? 2p sublevel is a first sublevel. So will there be any node? No. So its representation is like 1s orbital. One peak will be there and then Slowly it will decrease and that will be the end of the sublevel. That's a 2p sublevel. Start is not at zero. Actually, I am starting from zero only. Our journey started from zero. But we are not finding electron nearby nucleus. After some time, we start to find electron. So 2p sublevel wave function starts late. So little gap you are finding from zero to the start of 
finding the electron. Then slowly, slowly, its probability of occurrence increases, and then it decreases further, more slowly, and at last orbital ends. Now compare end of two years and end of two p. What are you finding? Two years sub level is ending at longer distance compared to two p sub level. So, what will be the general conclusion? Or one can think, two years orbital is larger compared to two p orbital. It seems somewhat absurd, no? Because what we are habituated to is then two p. So, two p should be little larger. It remains our expectation. This graph is saying some different thing. But wait, here we have to talk about R max. So, at first instance, you may say that R max, maximum radius, radial coordinate value for 2s is larger than that of R max for 2p. But that is not more important. Average radius is important. That 2s orbital electron, 2s wave function has already spent more time near the nucleus. Then a node came. Again, 2s orbital finding electron is there. So, average radius, if we consider, then average radius for 2s orbital is lower, is less than that of the 2p. Therefore, energy of 2s orbital is lower than that of the 2p. So, rough conclusion is not important. Concept will be more clear after discussing further radial distributions. See here, 3s orbital is represented. 3s is third s orbital. So, number of radial nodes will be 2 and minus l minus 1 it is our formula and in diagram also we are finding two nodes we are starting from nucleus after little journey we are getting little electron density then it becomes zero then more electron density then again it becomes zero then further more electron density yes that's the main region of 3s orbital then slowly defade slowly decreases and near about 12.5 the orbital ends. R max is 12.5 A naught. Now see the 3p orbital. It is a second p orbital. So one node is there. So after nucleus, we start exam. We are starting from zero. We are starting from nucleus, but no possibility of finding electron. We are not getting electron. After some time, electron started to find. Then we are getting maximum, we are getting a more number of electrons. Then probability of finding electron decrease, it becomes zero, that's our node. Again probability of finding electron increase, increase, considerable probability is there. Then slowly decreases and nearby say 11 A naught, we get completion of the orbital, the orbital ends. So, R max for 3s orbital is larger or for 3p? For 3s it is larger. So, in general way, 3s should be of higher energy. No, no, we should not conclude energy on the basis of R max. What is our conclusion? We should conclude energy on the basis of average R. 3s orbital has spent more time near the nucleus already nearby 1s region, nearby 2s region and because of that, Average R value for 3s orbital is lower compared to 3p. So, average R for 3s is lower than 3p. Therefore, its energy is lower than 3p. So, here who is playing critical role, important role? Nodes are playing important role. So, number of nodes has become more more familiar that wave function becomes to the nucleus, more closer remains that wave function. Ultimately, it may be reaching to the large level. R max may be the larger, but average result is it is lower in energy. Now, let us see one more orbital from the third shell, one more sub-level from third shell, 
that's a 3d interestingly see we are starting our vehicle from nucleus but at the beginning we are not finding any kind of the electron but it is not node because orbital has not started wave function has not started wave function is not showing its existence it started to show the existence after almost 1.5 a not and then slowly slowly electron density increases probability of finding electron increases it reaches to the peak value near about 5 a not and then it decreases and it completes near to less than 11 a not so if you compare 3s 3p and 3d actually our max for 3d is lower compared to 3p which is lower compared to 3s can we conclude energy on the basis of our max no then what is the term by which we conclude the energy that's a average r because of two nodes in 3s 3s is most closer to the nucleus because of one node in 3p 3p is after 3s is closer i am talking about third shell and 3d no node it's a first d orbital we are getting so it is not more closer to the nucleus so who is near to the nucleus 3s then who is then 3p then who is 3d whose energy will be lower 3s then who's 3p then who's 3d so energy also we can understand by means of this radial distribution again nodes play a very important role to decide the energies of the orbitals so student only finding distance maximum distance or max is not important getting average r is important knowing the number of nodes is important finding actual time spent by the wave function near nucleus is important as orbital is more closer lower will be the energy so from this you got the idea about r max values you got the ideas about average r and relative energies of various orbitals what is there on x axis x axis r upon a not r is our radial coordinate and what is a not is a bohr's radius therefore on x axis only numbers we are getting r is in say nanometer or picometer a not also in the same unit we consider so number so phi 10 that's a phi times larger than the bohr's radius of hydrogen atom and what is bohr's radius the maximum that you found no in 1s orbital the radius at that maximum is the a not value in multiple of that we are preparing the scale on x axis so it is little bit tough but is very interesting one important one now radially how we come across the electrons when we come across the electrons how the existence and probability of electrons is there we understood let us know angular shapes of the orbitals means we are using now other two coordinates theta and phi in next part